if you just slow down a little and you let Times Square run around you, you can absorb the energy. It's quite a remarkable place. Hi, my name is David Katzenstein, and I'm spending a year photographing Times Square. The one thing I noticed when I began working there was that the energy is primarily positive. Everyone is just happy to be there, and they really want to show that they've been there. So they're either videotaping, photographing, or doing selfies. I love the guys with the flags. I began the project last fall. It's okay. I visit the square weekly, and I usually stay about two hours at a time. There seem to be a lot of people either in costume or in uniform in the square, either police, sometimes military, and oftentimes action heroes. The red steps are in the center of the square, and they're like a stage. Everything is like a little scene out of a movie. I'm Tim Tompkins. I'm president of the Times Square Alliance. And what we really do is just take care of Times Square. David's assignment was to notice the things that we don't notice because we're here every day. In Times Square, we think of ourselves as the crossroads of the world. Well, David's actually been around the world, and he's seen all the different elements and all the different cultures. I photographed in over 50 countries all over the world a visit to an elephant orphanage in southern Sri Lanka, a young man with his chickens in northern Haiti, a cockfight in Bali. And so to have someone like that looking at Times Square, we knew we were going to see things that we hadn't seen before. I call this photograph Waiting for Lady Gaga. And it was an incredible group of faces and bodies to capture, they look like wax figures to me in their seriousness and their sternness. Lady Gaga of the house. Lady Gaga of the house, I love it. Lady Gaga in the house. Street crossings are like a dance to me. There's lots of movements, there's lots of energy, and it happens all the time. People are always taking pictures in Times Square. It's always been a little bit about exhibitionism and a little bit about voyeurism. And David is a voyeur with an artist's eye. How long have you been here? I've been in Times Square. I'm going on about 16 and a half years. <laughs> Historically, Times Square was known as a very seedy place that nobody would want to go to in the 1960s and 70s and even in the 80s. One of my goals with the project is to find little pockets within the square and the areas surrounding it that still have that feeling of what it was like to be there in the past. In preparation for photographing New Year's Eve in Times Square this past year, I actually had no idea what I was getting myself into. There's one million people that sometimes wait up to eight hours penned in and they all have smiles on their face. Hope your frown turns into a smile. You can go and line up and you can write on a piece of confetti a wish, and then they put it up on the board. And what they do then is they add all of these wishes to the overall confetti that they're gonna drop at midnight. So then your wishes rain down on New York. I plan to continue photographing in Times Square for a long time to come. It's very rare for me to have a project or assignment that's only a subway ride away. Good.